Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome to uh, Dumb SEO Questions, episode 214. Uh, each week we meet here to uh, answer the questions asked on the SEO Questions community uh, on Google Plus, um, on our Facebook page, Dumb SEO Questions, and also via Twitter on Dumb SEO uh, QS. With us tonight, we have Masataki Wasa. Masataki is webmaster of Wasa Web in the UK. Uh, Masataki uh, is also a Google top contributor on the uh, um, AdSense uh, community. Um, located in the USA on the West Coast, uh, Micah Fisher Kirshner uh, is uh, SEO, a senior SEO manager for uh, Zendesk in the USA. And he's also a regular on the, the SEO public speaking circuit. Uh, Tim Kappa um, is um, a uh, Google top contributor in the Google My Business community. Uh, he's uh, also uh, um, on, um, well, he's also CEO of onlineownership.com. Uh, he's a conversion rate optimization specialist and proud to call himself an SEO. Also uh, proud to call himself an SEO in Kansas in the USA, William Rock. Um, you can find William Rock at williamrock.com. He's also a Google top contributor uh, on the uh, um, Google web search community. Um, you can find Tim at onlineownership.com. Uh, Micah is zendesk.com and Masataki um, wasaweb.net. W-A-S-A-W-E-B.N-E-T. All right, our first um, question tonight um, is uh, regarding removing my WP website from Google. Um, let me just click the right button. Um, vegan Protein Powder says, uh, hi guys, I'm trying to move my WordPress website from Google and it's not as easy as you might think. I don't want to remove my site from Bing, Yahoo and other search engines. So checking discourage search engines from indexing this site um, in the WP dashboard um, is not an option. I added in the, in the 10 days ago and all my posts are still indexed. I added, okay, I don't follow that. Um, anyway, he said, now I want to add um, user agent Googlebot, okay, um, disallow, that should work, yeah, that, that will um, stop um, Googlebot from crawling. Um, it, he said, I'm not sure if that will only stop Google to crawl my site in the future, but all posts will still be indexed. Um, maybe I uh, have first to ask Google to de index my pages through the search console and then to make uh, the change to the robots text file. Um, if you have any idea on how to stop Google only to index my content on a WordPress site, please let me know. Thanks. So you can put it to not crawl, you can tell Google to take your site out of the index, but that's only temporary, last I checked. Um, <clears throat> I, I'm trying to think if there's a search engine specific no index tag. Um, I think <clears throat> the thing is, is as long as nobody is linking to your pages, then telling Google in Search Console to remove it from the index, put in a robots.txt tag that's specific only the Googlebot will keep it out. Um, however, if anybody does happen to link to the page and Google does come across it and, and crawls it, then it'll have one of those um, short snippets that basically says we can't provide a meta description or anything about the page because the site's blocked by our, our robots.txt. Um, I don't know if anybody else knows if there's a, we can do a search engine specific no index tag. I don't think so. 
just curious why you know, it starts out with um, it wants to try to remove WordPress website from Google, right? And then he was wanting to yeah. actually, they, that's what got me a little confused because I actually added something in the links comment uh, where uh, Google has the piece where you can go remove um, URLs from Search Console. And, uh, you know, that's, that's normally takes some, sometimes it's not a permanent issue, but or a resolution, but it's also sometimes can take up to 90 days to remove those URLs too. Uh, yeah. But, and it's only temporary though. Should we get started? It's only temporary. Right. Uh, yeah. Yes, I'm. I'm happy to get started. No follow. I mean, would like to go. Maybe even yeah. put a no follow, no index on the page that he doesn't want found. I mean, that's pretty typical. Yeah, but then it knocks out being Yahoo and other engines. True. Sure. Well, that's where it got me a little confused in the beginning, where he said he wants the site out of Google, but yeah. I, uh, um... Yeah, I don't know I had why. tractors outside, yeah. so they were making a bunch of noise. Yeah. Uh, I can't really... Tractors? I mean, he could try... I mean... Yeah, they're, like, doing, they're repaving the road out there. Talk about... So. I, I mean, oh, he yeah, could try to test putting the... Yep, still Yahoo working on ...index them. the site in a, a robots.txt file. I don't think Google really honors it, um, but at least it's something you could test. In, in the chat there, uh, Mike, uh, um, Mazataki has added something there. Um, let's see. Yeah, he's basically saying uh, meta name, Googlebot, content, no index. There you go. Okay. Yeah, but you know, if there's a link to that entity, then right, we'll be live in that's about still, five. an issue, isn't it, that, that you've identified. Uh, Why, wait, good morning, good no, afternoon, it's, it's good evening. No to Welcome to uh, Dumb That's SEO true, yeah. Questions, episode yeah, so, so, okay, so 214. Found, um, in the no uh, each week we meet here to uh, answer the Google questions Google. asked on the uh, SEO questions community yeah, on Google Plus. Um, on our Google Facebook Google. page, it's Dumb SEO yes. Questions, so that, and that also via Twitter on Dumb SEO QS. Now, my question would well, be, tonight we have Masataki Wasa. Masataki um, is webmaster of Wasa Web, Web in the UK. To a, uh, um, Masataki uh, um, is a WordPress a site. Google um, top contributor on the uh, um, AdSense uh, community. Probably you need to... Um, located in the USA on the West Coast, uh, Michael fisher Kirchner is uh, SEO, a senior <coughs> SEO manager that, for uh, allow it, so uh, Zendesk in, in the USA. The, um, and the, he's also a regular the, on the, the, the SEO public speaking the, circuit. Insert into uh, Tim Kappa um, is um, a um, Google top contributor in the Google My Business community. Uh, he's uh, also Megan so Pratty Pound um, on um, that. Well, he's also the CEO of online and uh, Google Bot content uh, and uh, index conversion rate optimization um, specialist and find out uh, uh, in SEO. Well, also, uh, also uh, uh, proud to call himself an SEO in Kansas in the USA, right, so William uh, Rock. Um, you can find uh, William uh, Rock at williamrock.com. He's also a Google Top contributor. Uh, on the uh, um, Google Web Search community. Here's one from our um, good friend you can find Jill on online on, uh, from the uh, Philip Micah uh, is zendesk.com. Um, that's an interesting question. Um, what's the web? Um, Giselle said hi. W A S A W E B. What are the benefits of having a website? All right, our first um, uh, question tonight: business um, perspectives uh, and owners' business regarding removing my Note, W uh, all website in the on my Google. article. Thank you for. Um, let me just click the right button. Um, vegan protein powder says, uh, like "Hi guys, trying I'm trying to, to move my WordPress <laughs> website from Google, and it's not as easy <laughs> to, to create as you a blog might post. Think. I don't want to remove my site from Bing, Yahoo, and other search engines. So checking discourage search <clears throat> engines from well, indexing the site of that can um, in the WP dashboard that. um, the is not an option." I added in the, 10, in the 10 days ago yeah. and all my posts 
Uh, still indexed. I added. I don't know. I mean, it's that. Highly generic. Um, anyway, he said, now I want to yeah. add. Um, <laughs> no, what's the benefit of having a website? Let's, yeah, let's start with the first question. What? Okay. The benefit of having a website? Um, well, it depends on your purpose, allow... right? So are you selling something? Are you yeah, that, that will, trying to um, educate stop, somebody? Um, are you trying to collect donations? Google, what, some crawling. Um, 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 you know, the focus, the purpose said, of sure that, that website to start out with. Myself in the future, um, but all posts will still be in yeah, there. Um, maybe I, yeah, I mean, uh, have first to ask Google if to your index, index my pages. A lot of people are searching search online console, and looking for it, and then, then to make to buy online. Uh, the change uh, and even if they're not, they might need trial. to find information about how to get to your business. Um, if you have any idea on how to stop Google only not, to index how to call your business, content on a WordPress uh, site, please how are they going to find information thanks. about your business if they don't know what you do? Or they don't know that if they've forgotten the name. So of the you they can do a generic search it to not crawl. You can tell um, Google to take your site yeah, out of the index. Your address. But that's only they don't have your phone number. Last they need a way to get to you. Out. So um, <clears> even if you're mostly offline, you need a way to kind of. I, I'm trying to think if there's a have them reach out to you. Search and, engine and specific. Whether it's no index tag, um, know, having something like Yelp. Um, which the thing, you can only provide so much thing is, is as long as uh, nobody has a full fledged website to your pages, generally, then seem to be telling Google fairly in Search Console to remove the index, um, put in a robot so you're you not relying on others, only the Google bot will to, keep it out to kind of um, help funnel. However, if a customer anybody does happen to link to the page and Google um, does come across it, it, it spreads the ability, it. then will have one of those um, short area of which you can. Basically says we give the information out of, uh, across the web rather than just the page on because the site is blocked by our providers. Um, um, I don't know if anybody else has of industry. So, in general, in kind of specific, no index tech. A lot of businesses, so. just about any business these days, is going to have. Just curious a why any, uh, it starts out with at least um, any major wants to try to remove WordPress website yeah. from Google. Mm -hmm. Right. I think that that, that yeah. totally answers her. I think that's what got me a little confused because I actually added something and now the basically links comment uh, where business perspective. Uh, Google so has the piece where you are kind of touch on that as well. Um, URLs from so, you know, what kind of site are you going to have? And, what's the information uh, you know, that's, that you're going to have? What you know, try to it normally takes some going back time. It's not a permanent issue. What that is a resolution, for. but it's also um, and how we can take a company to provide that answer or resource. Um, yeah, but and it's only temporary, and then it's, and then it goes back to it's the tracking and everything right. else. So uh, yeah, you know everything's yeah. working for you. Uh, no so following, and if your analytics are saying no follow traffic, they're bouncing, they're leaving. Page, you might want to go back to. He doesn't want your content. And that's pretty typical. Make some changes, yeah, just like you would normally do in the sell site. Um, and when you're sure. in front of the client, and actually, well, that's where it got me a little confused. Your product or service to them, the site out of how does that relate? That message, that same yeah. consistency and message on your website. Um, yeah. Yeah, I don't know why. Yeah, um, I was just thinking, uh, of course, uh, yeah, from the I visitor's really, perspective, um, I mean, you could try, I this mean, would only apply to somebody who didn't sell online because if they sold online, you could try to test putting by definition the, it, have a website. No, no index. Um, the site in the a robots TXT anyway, file. I don't think Gisella, really I hope um, it. the guys um, are giving you the answers that, that you want, test. and uh, good to hear from you again in, in the uh, chat. Uh, there, let's, uh, Mike, uh, move on um, to the next. Is has added something there. Mike Cook asks mm -hmm. for a tool to visualize a website structure. He said, I have a question. Yeah, what is the best tool to visualize uh, a website name, structure for a very large site? Content, no index. K plus pages. There you go. Okay. I need to see the link relationships yeah, and the hundred mile link view of the entity, site. Then, uh, that's any still suggestions? an issue, isn't it? That, that you've identified. So. Why? Wait, what? No, if it's if it's a no index tag, then that should knock it out fully. Um, that's true. Yeah. Yeah. So so okay. So Masa found used. Um, in the no uh, index tag kind of visualize the website, but the um, Google bot. While I'm stuck um, on that one, sometimes the then you best way is just which. Specifically, uh, Google to be draw it out yourself. I mean, indexed. well, yeah, you you might have like a large that, website of 100 plus K. Pages. You've got a yeah. template. Good finance, so huh? all you have to do is go to individual pages. Now, my question would be, uh, how, out kind of um, how many links are going um, to each type would of, that, from each could page. That be applied and you can, you can do a, a um, high-level um, um, WordPress site. 
that um... overview of, of how the website looks. Um, and then you can kind of probably draw that out to, uh, without having some type of, of custom crawl through a hundred plugins so that use pages the and then wait for the tool to visualize. And then <clears> I don't think any of the standard ones have done uh, some weird stuff. stuff. So you're going to look, you're going to um, need something. But that if you do it in the manual, um, you got to be pretty diligent about all the links into the, in, that um, custom ability, right? I just wish I remember insert into cool the meta. Does, does Screaming Frog do that? I mean, I, I haven't used Screaming Frog nope. for a while, but think so. I don't remember. Yes. The um, so Reagan yeah, it doesn't give you like the mind matters. map hierarchy. Um, and it just gives you the breakdown that, of everything that's in there. Method, uh, meta name, right. uh, uh, Google Watch content, no H1, index. Yeah, yeah, the mind map. Um, but yeah, you'll need to find a, a, a When I'm thinking of it, it's like uh, almost like, a, a, like building a neural network page. map. Um, All right. Um, I've seen them before. So that, that, and we'll move on to the next. I always get it confused with Giphy. So, <laughs> um. here's one from a good friend, Juchel de Leon uh, from the uh, Philippines. Uh, um, it's an interesting question. Um, Juchel said, Hi, I have a question. What are the benefits of having a website? Uh, no, I did. I did just come across one because I've been trying to look at the same thing and for some of the projects I work on. Uh -huh. And this is uh, the one well, I, I had to go back into my bookmarks, my article. but Power Thank Mappers you, is something I've been looking at. Um, here, like I'll drop that in the chat over here so you can take a look at it. Sounds but like this does give uh, kind of a hierarchy, answers. just like you would see a mind map <laughs> or even you know, a tree it's structure. The blog post. <laughs> I don't know how expensive it was. I haven't looked lately, but um, you know, basically it creates a site map. And then, well, there's a lot of what's together your chart given to help resolve uh, that that question or questions. Kind of like we, you know, you always put together your site map and draw out your boxes and all that stuff. Yeah. Hierarchy. yeah that looks more just uh, yeah. like a general site map hierarchy versus. I mean, it's uh, highly generic and just like. Um, yeah. What do really call it? A, I don't really say that's a no, What's the benefit of having a website? I mean, gotcha. Let's, yeah, let's start out with the first let's question. Just say, here's the benefit of having here's a website. How, well, it depends on your purpose, like, right? So are you, you selling know, something? Like are you links to all trying to educate and somebody? Are you trying, trying to collect these, donations? And how it all falls. Um, true. Well, yeah. the, the focus and the purpose <laughs> of that uh, website to start out with. It would be cool if you could take like Screaming Frog and this together. And you'd have one. If your market is... Uh, a lot of people are searching online and they're looking for it, then they're looking to buy online. Uh, and even if they're not, they might need to find information about how to get to your business. Yeah, I just really wish. Um, and you may not, or how to call your business. I'll add this uh, one to. How are they going to find information about? Ah, I found it. Liffy. Business, if they don't Liffy? know what you do. Liffy. Or yeah. they don't know that if they've forgotten the name of your brand, they need to then do a generic search. Um, so that. Or, you know, they might have forgotten your address. And if they don't have your phone number, they need a way to get to you. So there's just, even if you're mostly offline, you need a way to kind of have them reach out to you. And, and whether it's, you know, having something like oh, Yelp, um, which you can only provide so much information, uh, having a full fledged website generally has seemed to be fairly beneficial um so you're you're not relying on others okay to um to kind of help funnel was one of the ones that you were thinking sold. of mike uh, would, would that be the, it, the microsoft spreads, search, though, engine the uh, search engine optimization search engine optimization toolkit give the information out uh, across the web rather than just relying on a few select providers um and it's a massive industry. So in general, kind of no? okay. a lot of businesses, just about any anyway, business. Anyway, um, that's happen. something that can be installed on any laptop. Uh, I think it's a wonderful thing. Um, it's, yeah. um, <laughs> I think that, that totally or, answers or, her, or her questions on the visitor perspective. And, and now basically the owner's business perspective, I'd say, you know, already kind of that, Jim, on that as well. But you know what kind of site uh, you can have, can give you a link. Here we go. you can have what you know. Try to understand, going back to the visitor's perspective, uh, what so that you visitor is this link for, to the, um, um, and how we yeah, will let the company provide that answer or resource. 
and then it's and then it goes back to the tracking and everything else. So if you're, you know, everything's working for you, uh, then that's great. But if your analytics are saying you're not getting any traffic, they're bouncing, they're leaving, uh, you might want to go back to your content okay. and, and make some changes, just like you would normally that's do in the sales so cycle. Um, and when you're in front of the client that's and actually you're pitching not. something, you your product or service to them, in, in the kind of you know, how does that relay that, that message, that like same really consistency and message on your website? Kind of showcasing things that stand out. Yeah. Um, actually, I think Ian. Yeah, um, I was just thinking, of yeah, of course, uh, from the visitor's the visitor perspective, um, this would only apply to somebody who didn't sell online, yeah. because if they sold it's, online, it can be course, slow if you've got a little, by definition, if they have a pages, website. But, um, um, yeah. It's a, it's pretty good. It's pretty good for anyway. Giselle, for, uh, I hope um, the guys are, are giving you the answers works, that, works that well you want, and uh, um, good to hear from you I've always you kind again. of been back and forth. It's it's good uh, for let's, catching uh, issues, move on but if to the next. like odd stuff, that's Mike the way Cook I asks this, but for a just tool to visualize a website visualize how the site structure. Works by all the amount of links, then sometimes he says, I have a question. What is the best tool to visualize a website structure for a very large site? 100k plus site pages. Site. That's, that's, that's I need to see the link relationships and the 100 mile view uh, of the site. Pages. It's going to take a while. Uh, any suggestions? Yeah. I'm excited to actually download this after we get done here. That's going to be cool. <laughs> I've been, like I said, you know, when we first started talking about um, that's something I've been looking for as well. I'm trying to remember and that's why I kept like you know, going to go back to you, like the power mapper. Uh, to help to kind of but, visualize a website, but. Yeah, um, try this one out. Well, um, you just got to know a little bit of how the Sometimes setup the works and how best ways to just and, and yeah, uh, draw it out yourself. I mean, be more. Be well, more, yeah, uh, you've, you've, you might have a large and website and of 100 plus K. <laughs> you've got a template. So well, it'd be all you cool have to actually do is go some side audits on individual this. pages. Yeah, yeah. Figure out it, kind of it, how many links it actually provide some really cool type of from each uh, page visualizations of the site. You can you can build a very quick high level and get a better understanding how something is set up overview of, of how the website looks okay. um, and then you can all right uh, my cook I, I, I think that, uh, that really covers kind of um, your uh, needs and wishes um, pages and then move on to the visualize the and then tweak it because it's done some weird from stuff from David Jones um, but uh, very interesting in question uh, on and content and links um, within um, JavaScript I just tag. can't remember what the tools name uh, is. Is uh, I recently managed to get a brand yeah, mention for a client of mine oh, within an article on Forbes.com. I think so. I don't remember them. Later on, an SEO consultant yeah, told you, like, the my mind client that the link hierarchy. from this article of um, that's in did there. not carry much weight right. uh, due to a on page, script on page the page. Uh, the only thing I can yeah, think of is that you, what I'm thinking of it's like almost like a could be referring to is JavaScript. Um, yes, the page itself is just indexed like, just fine in Google as well as Google News. Cool. Uh, and uh, Giffy, so. uh, the link is followed, so I don't really see what the problem is. On closer inspection of the page source, I saw that the main block of text uh, for the article is enclosed uh, with, and of course, uh, because he's used text, it stopped our presenter from. Presenting now, I, did, I did just come across one because I've been um, trying to look for the like, same uh, thing. Sir, I was getting some of the products I worked on. Uh, and uh, this and is the one I, I had really to go back get, into my um, bookmarks, but Power Mapper um, is something I've been looking at. Um, here, like, I'll drop that in the yeah, chat over here um, so you can take a look at a few. But this does give uh, kind of a hierarchy, just, just like uh, you would see a mind map or I'm even a tree structure. I'll throw it out to you guys. I don't know how expensive it was. I haven't looked lately. But um, have a look myself. You know, basically creates a site map, and then kind of puts together your chart. Um, kind of like we, you know, you always put together your site map and draw out your boxes and all that stuff. Hierarchy. Yeah, that looks more just like a general site map hierarchy versus. Uh, what is it? Um, I wouldn't really call it a, I wouldn't really say that's a visualization. I mean, yeah, I must uh, just, thank Sir Ryan Gary Gay and Sir Ryan Pandy uh, and people like Tony uh, McCreed. Yeah, it doesn't um, say like each page links to all of these pages and then this Australia. page links all of these um, and how it all falls. True. Um, I, I think that's what's being referenced. Um, and it seems as though it'd be cool if you could take like Spring Frog and this and you have one in a 
a JavaScript uh, envelope um, that um, the link uh, can be seen. Yeah, I just yeah, really so wish, um, I haven't had a chance to dive into the score. I'll add this one to... I mean, it's Forbes, so I don't know how much... Ah, yeah. found Google it. Liffy. <clears> them lately, given all Liffy? the... Got it. Liffy, um, yeah. Ad blocking, and not ad block, all the uh, login that. setups that might be blocking Forbes. Um, but from, from a JavaScript standpoint, um, there are a couple of things you have to keep in mind to determine whether or not the links are of value. Um, one, you, you generally can, there, there, or I should say, there are two oh, quick giving. ways to, to look at it. One is to inspect element, and if it's in kind of an outer HTML, um, then there's a good likelihood that Google can crawl it and, and, and value the link. The other way is, is okay. um, doing kind of a, a um, waterfall optimization, viewing how the page actually loads. One of the loads, ones that you were thinking of, Micah, would, would that be, be the, the Microsoft search engineization, uh, search engine optimization uh, gonna toolkit? Going to pull the content from the page. And at, if it's before the DOM, then that, that's going to be crawlable and valuable. If it's after, then likely um, Google is not going to see it and not that. No? Okay. So it just kind of depends on... Anyway, um, that's something that can um, be installed on any laptop. Uh, I think it's a wonderful thing. Um, uh, now, bear in mind, that's um, just Google. If you're an excellent if you care about some of the stuff on Bing, all over your site, analyze it on the site, as well. and present um, you with a very nice report at the end yeah, that you can really dig down deep that's into. That's just a very, like, two what was that, Jim? What was the link to that? Two quick ways of looking at it. Uh, I, can, uh, I can give you a link. Here we go. I haven't had a chance yet to dive into the actual scripts to... Let me see. see. Could you add this, this link to the? Um, give you a yeah, well, I'll add it. Uh, right. How to yeah. understand um, it. So I can find it. It's something within JavaScript is going to be potentially valued by Google. Yeah. You know, I had a long conversation with. Um, okay. Well, not well, maybe, uh, maybe not long for, for David, but yeah. certainly long for me. Um, That's what you but, mean. Uh, yeah. Anyway, we, we were, yeah, my view was um, to do a, a, a. It's uh, really good for. Um, kind of Google for, for the particular out. page. Um, actually, and, uh, I think Ian and, and Larry see if, um, recording, had a visualization. Uh, showed some it, of the visualizations of how to use that as well. Um, yeah, but the, that's a pretty cool tool. Only, yeah. So he gave it's, an example. Can be here. slow if you've got a um, <laughs> ton of pages, but. Um, yeah, it's a, it's pretty good. It's pretty good for for running that, and it's yeah works yeah works I mean, well it, for kind of some like of that. Um, I've always kind of been back and forth. Like it's, it's good it for catching on, issues, but if in a load of the page. like odd stuff, that's way out of strange. But yeah, but one of the things to keep in mind, though, of course, is um, visualize how the site looks by all the amount of links. That's at least tell you what they could potentially value. It doesn't necessarily mean that that because this tool might the link itself is as valued. Smaller sites um, in it's, the same way as a regular HTML. HTML. But if you've got a um, lot of, um, nobody's really done a lot of pages. It's any testing a is sufficient quality to say that they're valuable. I'm excited to actually value. download this and have um, we get done here. That, that's that's going to be cool. That, that the content gets I've been, like I said, you know, when we first started talking about that's something I've been well, looking for as well. Ways, and that's why I kept, faster, you know, I was going to go back to like the power mapper. Get your site value faster. So there's yeah, a couple of this one out. Um, you just got to know a little yeah, bit even of how the setup works and how to color code it and, and, and potentially yeah. value it. doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be, be more, be more uh, PC now. than Mac and, and dive into it and you'll get it. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Well, it'd be cool yeah. to actually do some so site audits. Yeah. You've got what you're looking for, David Jones. could actually provide some cool quick visualizations of the site. Here's our next, guys. This one is from Greg Christana. It's a question about site maps. Uh, Greg goes on to say, I know that sitemaps right, need to be uh, an XML that, file that really covers uh, uh, in your uh, XML uh, file needs format and wishes, to be properly uh, crawled. Uh, let's let's move search on into to the next. But this particular sitemap looks so from to David me. Jones. I know that the very basic URL question is uh, on XML content and links um, um, within the links below are just media tags. tags. 
Um, should uh, I said, be concerned? Uh, I recently this. managed to get a brand well, new was for a client of mine solid within an article the URL in the domain uh, XML sitemap. Later on, an SEO breakout told my client that the links that link get get from this format. article is all over. Um, did not carry much weight. What do you guys think? Uh, do does this sitemap with the links on to the other sitemaps uh, work? The only thing I will think of is that due to it not being in the XML could be referring to is just. I see a large amount of URL submitted um the page uh, itself one of the is index nice. just is one of the reasons as well as uh, google why news, uh, the and uh, uh the link is followed so um, i don't really see what the problem again is. um uh, one of our On closer inspections of the, the page source, is, uh, i saw that the main block and of text uh for the article is enclosed uh with and of course uh, because he's used text it stopped our presenter from presenting anymore um, it looks like uh, Siraj Gadigay has given us uh, uh, an answer and without reading it yet. Um, um, oh, you're off, Micah. Okay. Yeah. Um, I was looking at this. Um, Tim has a problem with his mic. Anyway, I'll throw it over um, to you guys and, and um, have a look. Uh, all right. Um, feel that free to jump myself. in anytime, William, or I'll attempt to answer this one. All right. Sorry, I was actually uh, putting some comments in the other uh, this, uh, question. All right. So we're talking about sitemaps. So is that the one we're on? Yeah. Sorry, I, I'm just pulling into this question. So can we repeat the question. Uh, it's, it's, it's a long read, um, um, but it's number five on your run list. Um, William, yeah, I, I found must, it. Uh, Look, thanks for oh, oh, get a game in the life of life. Andy uh, and um, people like yeah. Tony McCree. Look, um, Greg, uh, I wouldn't uh, sweat on um, from Adelaide in um, Australia. Site maps too much. Um, um, they're, they're an indicator um, that they're, they're not they're not a uh, marriage for life between you and Google. As though, they're, they're despite right. being in, in, <laughs> just encapsulated for Google yeah. and um, in a, in a, um, in a JavaScript, I wouldn't uh, try breaking them out by category. Um, of that, not make um, it any, any more, the link uh, right. can be seen um, usable for, for search engines calling yeah, so your site. If you've got less than 50,000 URLs, you can put them all into one site map. Form, so um, and regard, don't is, worry about the order, you can put them in any old order. Um, I wouldn't and worry about uh, any of the other indicators. You just want the URL setups that might be um, and um, um, but from and, from a JavaScript that, standpoint, um, the, 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 the um, there are a couple of things you have to, to up, keep in uh, mind to determine whether or not the links are uh, or not of value. Um, um, I see Greg one Christian uh, has can, picked up. Um, there, there, I should say there are two. Um, also, that, that, that there are a lot of issues like uh, and if it's in, um, you know, 404 email, pages, 301 redirects, um, um, 500 error codes. There's a good likelihood that Google Look, crawl it. Yeah, um, that's something that you should be fixing up. It's no good putting the other in there is, a, a 301. Uh, Why would you do that? Optimization. Um, viewing how the page actually and, loads, um, where the DOM loads is uh, roughly going to be about 500 error codes. Yeah, if, 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 if the, the, the uh, website is broken, the fix the website the and then uh, and at, don't put the link in until you, you've the DOM, actually fixed that. That's going to be crawlable and um, certainly 404 pages. Then why, likely, why put in uh, a link to a 404 Google page? Google is not going to see it and not. So yes, so um, it just kind of depends on that's the way. What point? I would approach this, it anyway. Uh, being inserted into the uh, only, uh, uh, now, bear in mind, that's just Google. The, 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 don't waste your crawl budget on stuff for being there. Um, only put in good uh, well. URLs into um, your uh, um, sitemap. Yeah, um, that's just but a very don't worry about quick that. levels of in, in any sort of order because Google is looking at it. Figure out um, order, regardless of what you might to dive into the actual scripts. All right. To fully see. Anybody else? That should at least give you. A no, I think you hit that one on the nail or nail on the head. Awesome. If something from it's something within JavaScript. Hello, David Roseanne. Potentially valued by Google. Hello, Jim Monroe. Yeah, I made it finally. Ah, uh, cool, mate. Cool. I, 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 I had a long um, conversation with uh, um, Matt Sataki. Pointed out. Well, to no, me that well, you guys are uh, maybe not long for an hour. Different, but certainly long for me. 
Um, yes, um, we but, are. Uh, and, uh, anyway, we, we were. Yes, I, my view was. Um, you kind of. Um, a, 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 I, I kind of got invited a bit later than um, usual. The features Google. That sort of crashed into then, all the client uh, stuff that yeah, uh, uh, was going all mad around my brain at the time. Uh, it, it, but it was you are. I, I'm all calm um, down. Yeah, but the, the only nice and cuddly and all those things. Gave an example here. Um, <laughs> yep. All right. And old um, before yeah. you say. Well, especially old. I, I said I, I old that, before yeah, you say. I mean, it. It. Oh well, I, I, I should have introduced you, shouldn't I? I said David uh, is the oldest man in this year. Page. Um. <clears throat> but yeah, it's Windows sort of Institute really. Mindo, of course, is um, um, <laughs> that's at least tell you what they could potentially do. Um, it doesn't necessarily mean any, that, David can be found at writing for SEO.org. He's been an SEO um, copywriter for uh, at least a dozen um, years and, and a copywriter for 30 odd. Any testing um, sufficient quality to say that? Yeah, okay. Uh, tell me what you think of the next question, uh, David. You look very close to my quill pen. You have a cool thing? I thought it was a slate. In a similar way so that it's faster and helps. No, no, I've moved on. Get your site value oh, okay. faster. So there's John a Pitcher asks the question, um, yeah, even if multiple local this. business pages, it's titled. And potentially. He said a customer offers healthcare services from their home uh, in town A. Yeah. And also rents a room in two doctors' right. surgeries um, in town so B. Town town of all that, uh, you, you've got what you're Should they create three, three Jones, user and, local uh, business uh, pages, one for each town? Given the yeah, next guys, um, this one is from Greg Christan. It's a question about sitemaps. Uh, Greg goes on to say, I, I, I know that sitemaps need to be uh, an XML file uh, in uh, XML file format to be properly crawled. This is where uh, 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 Tim needs to have his mic working. But this um, particular site, I think he has a better answer too. than I will. I know but that I, the I would say URL you still only have to have one XML uh, business profile. Um, but the links below are just apps, if you have multiple um, the same address, and you're also going to be about not this. servicing. My plan um, was to either consolidate all of the URLs of into the main so uh, XML site. You map, don't necessarily need to have three. Or break out the site maps uh, by category different ones. Since, since the current format uh, is all over the place. What do you guys think? Yeah. Does What's, this site map well, with the links to the other site maps work? No. Or will it not work health, due to it not being from in, in XML format? So the question is, you know, where I see a large the amount of URLs submitted, uh, but not a lot have been indexed. And I think this could be is one of the reasons uh, why yes. Yes. that is the case. Yes. Thanks. Um, um, okay, so in this again, instance, um, uh, one of our well, forum heroes, Saraj Gadagay, has uh, jumped in and answered. And caveat within guidelines. Your town B, um, and town C local business page must be for those hours that he is there. Okay. He can't have it Monday to Friday, nine to five. If oh, your original okay. local business page is Monday to Friday, nine to five town B, if he's only there on a Tuesday, and a Friday. Tim has a problem for with an his hour. microphone. That is um, what he, and, um, he has to stipulate. Because right. the, the so basic criteria of a I'll, I'll attempt to answer this one. All right. So I was actually customers uh, must be able to make in-person contact during the specified uh, hour. Right. So we're talking about sitemaps. So town B and town C. Is that the one we're on? Um, yeah. If it's only an Sorry, hour on a Monday and a Friday, the then it's so only your hours are question. Only uh, you know, and, uh, uh, it's, it's a long uh, read, um, 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 but it's number five on your run list. Um, that that, that you? is, you know, you kind I'll, of push I'll it and you can follow um, up if you like. Um, look, Greg, I wouldn't sweat on uh, yeah, um, you know, um, um, site maps too much. Um, they're, they're an indicator. The they're, they're, not, they're not a uh, marriage for life between you and be, Googlebot. They're... they're um, uh, just an indicator for sure. Google, um, and um, yeah, it was, um, and so of course, I if they were try breaking to, it out by categories, it's not, not going to make or, it any more um, uh, to the internal page um, for that specific thing. Usable for, for search on the flip side of it, site. if you've got less than fifty thousand URLs, you can put them all in that one thing is going to be showing closed. 
uh, um, on the odd occasion and regard, when and don't worry about the order you can put them in someone any to order. it or search in that um, particular town on a Monday and happened to URL. That, in that particular um, time of, you know that hour um, that you were there uh, it would say open um, the rest of the time the, the, if the, anybody the, had a search Google what to um, um, uh, or not um, so from that Christen, uh, has area up, I would um, say in that instance you know, if those are um, only that, really that, limited that hours, issues, you know, like, I would uh, think you would be doing more um, 404 pages, uh, harm, harm, redirects, um, uh, because people are always going to see the place closed. Look, um, that's something that you should um, be up. There's no good putting a link in there. The other thing uh, is, is depending on how well, far town and B um, we are from and, one another, um, and I would say that, let's say within about a 40 mile radius if, if, if from if your the, actual the original location, fix the website and then you they, can still be appearing the within the local pack you, uh, for that particular um, service. Certainly 404 um, why, why put in a, a link to a 404 page? For so the yes, actual um, that's, that's say the healthcare way, service um, now. I'm just, um, uh, I, I would approach it anyway. Uh, um, only uh, what would be healthcare. Okay, the, for example, my example is um, only put in uh, the, uh, I'm URLs in into your uh, um, site map. Corby. Um, now, Northampton, which is the largest city, sort of which is 40 odd miles away, order, I think it's actually you might do. 42, but something like right. that. Um, um, anybody else? Essentially, Obviously, I think for that one on there, like on SEO, yeah. awesome. I don't Hello, David the pack because, of course, there's Hello, uh, Jim and a lot of companies there. But when you break it down to more I made niche it specific uh, cool, items, cool. I, I, like services, Northampton, and they are um, different at the moment. You know, I appear in the local pack. Um, when yes, you break it down to more um, niche specific, uh, like um, yes, I, you kind uh, of surplus um, or Hampton, I, I kind of got um, a bit late in the local pack, usual, um, um, things like that. So, in for that niche the specific stuff, one point but, of thing, uh, you, you, going you won't necessarily appear. Yeah, yeah. But if you, but, uh, for more yeah, niche specific I, things, you will appear in the local pack. So you've got to nice. weigh it up. And think about how much, how often will you be open? Yeah. Open in town B and town C. Right. Uh, if it is say, literally a couple of hours well, a week, I, said, I, I, know, I, know, would, I would think it would be back to you. From people actually searching for in town, um, you're forever closed. <laughs> He's sort of our relic. Um, um. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, from yeah. just a pure um, percent, uh, you know, uh, David can be perception. found at writingforseo.org. A lot more effort into optimizing but, my uh, singular, and, and a uh, my main video. location, um, um, and for yeah, those okay. areas. Uh, tell me what you think of the so next service area pages. Like, um, so indeed, you, you have a cool thing? create a local page, but you could certainly still create. No, no, I've moved on. Page for town oh, okay. B. John uh, Pitcher asked the question: B, um, um, multiple local business pages. It's title service. Like he said, a customer offers of healthcare is, services the location, from their home, the telephone number, uh, in town a. the hours, and also rents the room so in two doctors' that's on the website, in not town a B local in business town page. Um, Should they create three uh, Google uh, local business give a bit pages, more one for each town, yeah. given that those, they just in those rent town B and town C? Uh, because you may do everything in your main location, but you may only do your or satellite locations. So kind of specify those ones. Do you have any specific? This is where uh, just Jim for those has in areas. Um, you know, list those. I think on you those have a better answer than area I pages. But I, I would of say, course, you only have you know, in one terms of content on uh, site, I would profile, build up on your maps. Local if you have multiple. Content. The so address, I would, and you're also you know, going to be not servicing town um, like, look, look at content in terms of town place of business say, so it's uh, going to be a radius but you don't necessarily provide, have three uh, uh, or four different ones uh, for each town. I don't know. 
some yeah, kind of but not slightly holistic service or yeah, I don't know, I do offering cultures help, help or I mean healthcare is quite own. general. Um, so you could certainly you know, where do the have go, isn't it? You know, list those specific things you the, could you could create is it working um, now? more yes. Yes. type yes. of content locally, uh, you know, on um, blogs and okay, so to in those this instance, pages. Look, you could have three. your main location but will be appearing the in the local part for town B caveat and within town C. guidelines. Obviously not, as I said, niche your specific town for B. your like what you would think is your main keyword, but for longer term, uh, like um, um, actual town product C, specific local business page, you know, service. Yeah, you would you would be appearing. For those hours um, that he is there. And if you really, you know, okay. optimized it, he can't have, have it the next Monday to Friday, Friday nine to five. Uh, you may even appear within the his original local pack. business page um, is Monday to Friday nine to five. So, town B, if up. he's only there on uh, Tuesday, go back Monday and Friday, hours for an hour. Town that C. is, and he, then think has about to stipulate. because the the basic criteria of a received. Or not, um, but of course, is that still, customers you know, you need to be able to make create personal service pages for the town B and town C hours, and give some real in-depth town B and town C on what you provided those um, two locations. If it's only an um, hour on a Monday and a Friday, uh, then it's page, only your and hours are only up your content over uh, time you know, on your hour. news or your blog um, section um, to do with town C niche specific. That that um, that is you know stuff. your kind of crucial thing. Um, All right, excellent. Uh, yeah, excellent. you know, um, anything else? But two minds okay. about whether three would be. Let's, yeah, by the way, that was cool. Uh, uh, official. I, I, um, I didn't get a handle on yeah, that. Yeah, so um, of course, if they were connected to. Um, but they should only put the hours down. Um, the, the, the internal the page for that specific thing. On the flip side right. of it. All right, John Pitcher. 99% um, of the time state, uh, that thing was going to be showing closed. Titled, uh, Google on the odd occasion where that are not based in the town. Someone to it or John said that I have a client who is based some miles away from the town and they wish to rent it. They are a in service industry time, where customers you know, that go to hour that you were there. Uh, it would say the, open, site is the rest of the time down page if one for many search, search terms which toast would it help um, or hinder their website's ranking so if they put from the address that, on the website uh creating area, a Google I would local, say in that local instance, business page and directly you know, those are only really limited hours you know, I would think you would be doing the more town itself. Uh, harm from uh, the end point customers are always going to see the place closed they offer a service that customers are happy to travel for the other thing but is, is Google depending on how far the town B that are not based are in the from town. one another. And I Although would say that, let's say so within about a 40 mile radius from your actual original location, Timo, I see that you, you this, can uh, still be appearing the within the local community. community. Well, Thank you very much. Uh, for that particular well, so, service. Um, um, yeah, I kind of also for answer that in the, the actual in the, in, in the previous say health care service. Now, I'm just, uh, uh, <coughs> you can, you know, you said a couple uh, of miles away, you can rent be a health care. Okay, like, okay. for page. example, my example is so like sort of 40 miles away. Uh, um, I mean, it's it's certainly possible, it's certainly yeah, could be possible. Now, Northampton, uh, which well, is the largest again, course, city, which it, is 40 odd um, miles you know, away, two miles away, I think it's actually. I don't know what you into, into know, but something you, like that. You, this um, wheelchair supplier or something. Essentially, um, but if there's you know a twenty wheelchair like suppliers in the town, you know even I if don't you were appear in the local you're pack, still going to have to work. At, of course, um, there's you know, uh, a lot of companies optimizing, and, and, but when you and, break and it down to more on niche, you know, increasing your visibility items. in that area. Like if there's only uh, two guys in there, go, well then you've got a you've got uh, services if you, if you optimize content, your site properly um, and correctly, then you've you know, got a shot in the local pack. Taking when you break it down into yourself, more, you specific, specific site, um, 
That's not a problem. Uh, so but, you know, in Northampton, you worked um, out carrying the local um, pack. So yes, um, you know things your, like that. Your, so for that your niche foot specific one point your thing, should you, certainly you, you won't necessarily uh, appear. even from just your but if your you main, uh, for more niche your, specific your things, you should certainly. Um, so you've got to weigh it up your business and details. think about how much how um, often will you be open. And that should be, be you know, marked up. If it uh, is literally you know, with, a couple with of hours data specific to week, your industry, if one exists, I would think it would. Not. If not, you could just use the Back default um, local business from people actually data. searching for. Um, uh, and then town, it also boils down to create forever closed tent um, on a regular basis. Uh, in and around uh, niche specific from just to a pure percent of time that you, you know really uh, want customer to focus perception. On. I would. And, and it will have a lot more effort into optimizing you know, my without providing similar, that content uh, without my main you know, location and any search engine and it for that those areas. Are. So service you know, area that relevant pages. to a search um, so indeed within, you within may not necessarily create a local um, you just page, but you could certainly you know, still the, create the proper content on site page for town and B. um ongoing uh, within town B, content. Um, as and when, of course, you know, it, it makes sense to service, like from what, you know, the you rent and office you can is, the location, any the telephone search number, engine. Um, the hours. If you can get yourself for that so particular that's product, product, website, not a local business page, um, you, know, you the, would obviously uh, uh, organic, give a bit more deep positioning on page one, ideally in those, in those between, between position, position one and five, uh, because you may do everything in you know, the main location, you should, you but should you be may looking, uh, um, depending your, obviously naturally. On the, on the local location competition, so kind of specify should, those ones. Be starting to do look you have any being able to appear within the local pack? Or just if, for those you know, particular areas, you know, list those. Of course, on those, if, if so there's area 50 pages, guys in that town that do it, of you're course, have an issue. You know, in if you can get yourself organic, I would also build uh, page that one for local it, um, content, you know, which is it's going to take so some time I would, and effort, you know, but you can do that. Um, town be like, look, look at content in terms of town B and say. Provides a uh, quick question uh, to add to that. Uh, you know, I think there's a lot of confusion with uh, articles uh, going out recently about uh, some kind e commerce of sites not being able to do service or I don't know, I do US traffic crutches or, or I mean, traffic healthcare is quite general. Um, and you and could I, certainly I have. Chat for you. I don't know if you've seen that. You know, it's like a load of specific things you could create. Um, yeah. um, um, you know, I've, I've type of content locally. Uh, you know, dealing with someone in, in, in the forums, internal pages like, oh, we sell all over the I'm, United States. Your main and, location, and, and, but you know, will be appearing in the local pack. What are you like, and what do you want about me? Obviously, yeah, not the, 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 the most it. laugh for you, or like, what thing is you make that, you work, but for you longer know, term, if, if you're sort of uh, a, a like, worldwide um, e commerce actual product specific, you firstly, you know, service. Yeah, uh, you, would, legally, you would be appearing right by law to um, stipulate your actual and if you really address, you know optimize uh, if you to have any form of the credit card sort of year, so google knows uh, where you may are. even appear by creating a business page it's that. not even on your domain um, by creating a business page google so knows where you are it doesn't it's a matter up. where you are he yeah. knows where you, you are go back so why not your brand it and hours and town and capitalize from the branding that business page provides you you know, even apart from that, you know, um, people still want to know, not, they want to understand, um, trust but of course, is. still, you know, you um, need to obviously want to create the local knowledge service panel, pages for the town and that, town C you can have a, and give sense and appearing in there, you can have all your other social, um, you know, what your you social, those two locations, uh, um, your other social channels uh, appearing page, in your knowledge and then panel, of course build up um, your content over time on your it, news it or can your provide section also a lot of peace of to mind do to a business if you, for example, if you're a really big company um, um, and stuff. And you know, you've got a Wikipedia entry and things like this, it provides peace of mind. People can see your reviews, all right. Uh, excellent, you know, Tim. Uh, excellent. it provides a lot of branding. And and I just think people, I, I don't know where people got this okay. crazy idea from in the last month. Uh, there's been lots of questions. Yeah, by the way, that was thinking, cool. Well, I, 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 some well, idiots somewhere must that have written until you some, said, um, because um, Google knows well, where you are. Put the hours down <laughs> it's like that, that if you accept a credit room. card, you are legal. Your like, physical address where well, John Pitcher, operates from um, in your, a state, um, you know, question, even in your T's and C's, and out of that, Google knows where you are. Uh, if you're in the town. 
you John are said that I have a client who is based uh, some miles away from the town they wish to rank on. for. Google knows they are a you service are. industry. Doesn't where matter about having a business page. Why not just capitalise on it? Put the site is right way down product. page one for many search terms. So uh, somebody might help out there wrote or hinder their website ranking. If they put the address yeah. on the website, well, that's the that's the crazy Adrian part. Is Google local, they sell a widget, local business page, they sell a widget all the way across the All of these highlights. If I rank for that widget, right? Like you mentioned, the local town. Itself. Google already knows my location, so I'm going to be able from to the endpoint customer's viewpoint. They offer a so service that anyway, customers but I also have to brand. travel for. But Google sometimes penalizes right. businesses. I, for example, I am on a. Um, Although maybe not quite so as much since the recent uh, it, it may as well be docker. I've said anyway, I've seen the time to this uh, for, on the on the community. Well, thank you very much. Is, that's also over my um, site. Content well, a lot yeah, of my kind of also answer that is in the, in the locally in the niche related previous question, anyway. um, especially if I'm talking about. Um, <laughs> you can, you know, for, you use it a couple of miles away or whatever. You can rank a tons of it's got a local page. I'm a freaking visibility like, and traffic is, is US because um, they just happen to be more in tune in terms of local SEO, etc. So, possible. if all of this, uh, were, uh, but of, then again, of course, my location. Yeah. Well, then, why the hell am I appearing um, number know, one and two miles for away? All sorts of different things. You know, I don't know what you're into. I don't know. You, you it's not this based upon your location. wheelchair supply or something. Provide, um, the but if there's you know twenty wheelchair suppliers in that town in the world, you know even if you were you are still going to have to in work some at, little town, um, you know, uh, optimizing and and Eric and, and work on on you're you still going to be in that area because Google believes if there's only two guys in there, you, well then you've got a you've got you know better if quality you, information, if you optimize your site you know, properly and correctly, um, then you've got a show all around the world, you know, from different places yourself and position yourself. That's it's not a problem. It, but you've you know, built up a brand, a reputation, work. your business um, is no so yes, for being the you best know, freaking wheelchair your, maker your in the world. Your and footage you might be down in uh, freaking Venezuela, even well, that, just your, you still your, your main number one for wheelchair manufacturers. Your, your footage should certainly uh, US or in Russia or in details. wherever. Because um, Google knows that if and wheelchair, that should be you know, locked guys. up. Uh, you know, um, with, with with structured data specific you to know, your so industry, if one I guess, exists, I don't know where this if not, came you could just use the default um, local business data based somewhere. You can um, still and then a local it also address. boils down you can to still create ship worldwide. You can still, you know, it's on a regular basis. In fact, for an e-commerce uh, uh, in our around niche specific to that particular town that you really e want to focus on, to look at and and it will handle local you. possibilities. You know. But if without, you are, for example, that content, I don't know, that, based, you know, in any New search York, engine, and you, that's where you're that you are, your, you know, and that's where you, you, know, you are relevant to a package search. and ship. But you within, uh, distribute all the way across um, the US. You just need to provide. The, um, the, I would be the, listing the, the on my site, content on like site, if, for example, and um, ongoing, ongoing content. Stuff. I would As be when, listing. Course, you know, it, every it makes every sense. State, you know you, you, that you list can is, you know that any search my product my um, watch or if you can get yourself my, for that particular product i would be listing those all i would be i would be obviously you, know, the, you can't have a business uh, page for that but i would certainly be putting positioning the, uh, on page one um, ideally between uh, position uh, one and five uh, uh, the then, map link. you know, oh, it's certainly you should, that. You should be looking, creating uh, um, pages like left, right, and flaming on, on the local in town competition. If you, I should, was, you should now be um, starting to look you know, at sort of a, being able to appear within the local pack. If I, if, if you weren't, you know, you know so uh, of course, stock is, if, if there's um, 50 guys if in that town, I had to do it, you don't have an issue. But if you can get yourself organically onto in particular uh, page one for it. So, um, you know, which is UPS takes some time and effort. But I don't know if do you that. know, Jim, but we can see what um, it is certainly possible. Sorry, um, I just had to check my mail. Yeah, I think, 
Yeah, quick question. Yeah, I think there's a lot of confusion with a couple <laughs> articles going out recently so, about um, uh, e-commerce sites not know, being if, able if, to uh, offer click and collect, like let's capitalize say, on U.S. Um, traffic or international traffic because of, they have you know, a, a local delivery, page, whether they want to pick put UPS a link or in the chat FedEx or whatever. So if I offer those, absolute rubbish. Where are the choices? You know, I've I've the area closest. You know, there's, dealing there's with someone in, in the oh, forum even recently who's going like, out oh, we well, sell all over the United States. Localized and, and, signals and, and, you know, relevant to my business that I could like, include what on do you my about, global mate? site. Yeah, because the, the, I know the, that I'm going to have the most laughable thing is is that of appearing locally. You know, if you're sort of in a local worldwide e-commerce that particular product, you first uh, legally, okay. you're required by law to stipulate your actual physical anyway, address. I'll rant over that. Uh, if you accept any form of rent, so and, Google knows um, where you are. I think they've covered the business page. It's not even on YouTube. I'm creating a business page. Google knows where you are. It doesn't matter where you are. He knows where you are already. So, why not? Brand new Where you are in the world. Yeah, we're going to have to do that. 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 Yeah, we're going to have to you know, you said, no, I, I want to create you know, a uh, Wikipedia page. People still want to know, they want clients. to understand, trust uh, who your business is. Please let me know what are the things um, uh, that I that's should appearing consider on the knowledge panel so that they do not remove my page. Because you can page. have events appearing in there, you can um, have all your other social... Like, do I need um, to register you know, with social, the company uh, email, like contact... Your other social channels appearing in the knowledge panel. Fresh um, content, etc. It, it can provide ET. also a lot of peace of mind um, to a business if you, for like example, say, if you're uh, a really big uh, company. Uh, Sammy, if you're um, in for a uh, world of hurt, but if uh, you keep got fighting, a and tree and things like uh, this, it provides um, peace of mind. People can see your reviews. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, you know, you uh, it so provides a lot of press of advice, and I just think. I, I don't know where people got this what the crazy idea right. from in the last month. My first thing uh, would be is, is to look at questions about it. And I'm thinking well, businesses within that similar genre. Some idiot somewhere must okay. have written some. And because um, Google knows where you are. Well, look within that genre. <laughs> it's like see if who you accept the credit are. card. You because are because it is like address where the business operates Who from in your Scientology um, you know, was like even in your TSC and C's and out of that planet, Google knows these, where you are uh, if you're a man they are in, like you are required to have a business group um, of people registration. Uh, I shouldn't be saying this because they're probably going to be like on. Google knows now they're probably going to be searching through every single day of the business page. but why not just capitalize um, on it for the brand they are product. like they are so yeah, some muppet out there wrote some stupid article and it's so yeah. Depending on who the well, and that's the that's the crazy part is to create a widget. You could have and I sell a widget all the way across the world. If I rank for that widget, right, like you mentioned, category, who already knows my location? So I'm going to be able to get never let it through ever. I mean, I've had one game, but I also get the brand, which um, this the business. I, for example, I believe it's um well known. It's like one of the top uh, ten in the world in terms of natural resort. I've set or my country targeting this for uh, my business page is uh, refuses that's all uh, over my site uh, and content. won't publish it. Well, a lot of my content so is the first bit is just related. try and suss out um, what especially like. if I'm talking. You might have some great ones. But, uh, you know, reach out or, to them. You know, London um, or Hampton or whatever. You know, uh, tons to of your. Kind of, um, I'm a freaking visibility live traffic is, in is US box, because they just happen to be more in tune and in they terms engage, of local SEO, etc. So if all of this like, was okay, this is my location. Well, then why the hell am I appearing number they one and two? Lend some advice, and they will publish it. You know, right? We'll lend you some advice. So you cannot edit it. You can elaborate. You get it if all right. You provide um, the best freaking. That's the best in the, the world. Flip side of the scenario is you can get completely. You are based in Psychos, some little town will just never and ever ever um and in that instance yeah. i will you're just still going to appear all over the world because google believes that you know a few sites out there where wiki editors the better quality information um, you know basically um people help all around the world published. and then the fashion places have reviewed that your stuff and you've got to pay a fee obviously and they'll publish it for it. you there's quite a few of those brand, sites out there. a reputation um, your business is known for being the best so wheelchair maker in the world 
and you might be down in Obviously, you know, Venezuela. Is, I would just go down the road one and, and, and pay for it, which you know you pass that pass that cost US, on to the client. Or in Russia, um, or in if, if, if they want it, then because they're going to have to pay for it. it. Um, so handmade wheelchair is this, these are the guys. Suss the editors um, out. You know, oh, so get it in there. Ask it, them I don't to know get involved. Where this came from. Collaborate. Um, you'll get a feel for them. Still based quickly. somewhere. You can if still. They are going have to a local address. You can still uh, ship if they're worldwide. Not, you can still forget it. You know, it's, it's just go in and fact, pay, for an um, e-commerce site. Right, I would have to do it for you. E-commerce sites to yeah, look I think that at sums up the state additional of local very possibilities. Well. If you are, for example, All right. um, I don't know, based oh, in that. New you. York, and you, that's where you're headed. Um, New York, this one from, you know, and that's well, where you ship from. Alan Blur Blur Package and ship. Posting? But you uh, distribute wow. all the way across the US. Um, um, uh, I would be listing on my indexes, site, like uh, if, for example, process, uh, um, Alan said I just posted this stuff. to my timeline. I would be listing timeline. every, every uh, state. Posting it here to the group because the I'm not connected with everybody that listed, in the group. And I believe know, it's important that, that my product, my this. watch, or my. Um, he said, uh, here's the scenario, I would be listing those a I would be, I would be, obviously, you can't have a business page 500 for that, but I would certainly be putting the um, uh, mobile embedded, site with um, not inbound links and uh, uh, the embedded, uh, the mobile uh, the, the Mac link, I would certainly like, be embedding that. I'd be creating um, pages the, uh, like left, right, and flaming center for these. Or will it do if just If I fine. was, um, you know, sort of a... If the mobile site if I, does just fine... Works, then how is you know, it a uh, stock is mobile index? Um, if I had and, and what else and collect, is not properly migrated into the in mobile areas algorithm so, process. UPS I don't know if you know Jim, but we can see all of that. Sorry? I just had to check my mail. Yeah, you, yeah, I was just saying you probably don't want to be buying that live. I'm reading through <laughs> that and kind of what I'm getting out of so, this is question um, on you know, if it's it uh, off a click and collect, or, like let's say, I mean, um, when you add links into that, it's kind of gets choices, confusing, but you know, I think that delivery separate the algorithm, UPS, elements, you've got your FedEx mobile, you've got your desktop, whatever, or, you if know, I offer exactly those, it's all, or, where um, are their choices desktop. to click and collect in their What a lot of people need to, to go back to is what, you know, this discussions were happening way back with mobile getting out of my way to use that word. But at the same time, there was a lot of good information being spread as far as could speed, include on my security, site because um, I know that I'm going to have you know, a, uh, user experience of appearing on locally, mobile devices. So when, a local when you start to take a lot of those aspects into play, I'm, you've seen the traditional uh, pitch each algorithm update coming out and and or yeah, not my just them there. coming out, but it's more of a discussion Excellent. of like, the brand pages, and, which, um, I think that covers uh, uh, certain um, elements, but just a simple mobile and, uh, good um, to hear aspect from you again, John. would be, um, you know, let's um, look at your site on mobile, look at the, the tools um, that Google's given um, us, well, and, and, and then shot, also kind of make that determination of, okay, am I going to climb or am I going to I want to create a Wikipedia page for one of my clients. I don't uh, know. I think you know, know, you've got to separate both um, the desktop we've already so seen. That they we don't do have to worry about other than monitor size. Uh, um, with the mobile, we have like, a lot do more I need play. To register with and that, that goes right back into the you know, screen size. Some of the screens are itty bitty. Some of them are um, fresh content, like a big old book. Cetera, thanks, um, so depending on how responsive um, your site could be. I'd just like to say... Uh, it could probably you're play in how, you favor, hurt, how your site's you favored fighting, in that algorithm once it's completely uh, separated. Um, get there. It's like the I've seen a lot of that already going, going on, to, even, even so though they have My first piece of advice separate, would be, right? look, what, your, what the particular client is, right? Yeah. My first thing would be is to look at clients or businesses within that similar genre. Any other comments? Okay. And... Um, I think I just, you know, going back to the whole Look thing, within that I mean, I said a whole lot of stuff once, but I think going back to the whole user experience is, I think, going to be key like, for this mobile. Who thought Scientology was like the oh, wackiest uh, freaking group um, on the planet? These, good, uh, and, uh, and, uh, they uh, are like sort of an answer or the nuttiest an answer, group but, uh, of people. Uh, uh, now, I shouldn't be saying this because they're probably um, going to be like, for, for, now they're probably going to be searching for every freaking edit I ever made. But... Um, um, we, 
They um, are like they have an instance they are of, of um, a editing mobile site um, crazies. Um, so, depending on who the editor is, the last depending if you went and created that, um, you could have like um, a really protective, fierce little the, editor the client, in that particular um, category, for, for and some, um, they will just, you know, you know never, never let it through, to, to ever. I mean, destroy, I've had one particular business uh, some which um, um, decided this, this, to, to the, dump the business the appears globally. It's one characteristic that um, well known. It's I, like um, one of the top uh, ten in the world in terms of luxury resorts. Site is or by using Simrush. Uh, um, I can uh, see that, that the mobile site and uh, the main site and just and, and the mobile site did have uh, uh, zero won't publish uh, it. Uh, incoming links. So, so no the first bit is just try and suss out index. what these people are like. You um, might have some great ones. But the, the um, mobile you know, site um, them, its own release um, rapidly developed you know, a set of keywords to your, uh, even though the mobile site live, and put the, in the, um, box, the main site asked them to come and look at it and they exactly engage the same database. There, there was a what they're like. Text, okay. um, in either version. But the M dot site they would lend some advice and they will publish a unique it, set of keywords. Right, they lend you some um, advice. You can edit it. You can and, collaborate. Um, get it all right. Also, um, um, rapidly. Uh, that's know, the uh, pulled, uh, um, on that flip on side of the scenario is, is you can get uh, complete um, psychos well, I, who will just never, ever, it, ever. It was for a, a um, and was in that a, instance, uh, I would just um, get a um, parking site um, for. Um, Few sites up there where um, wiki editors, um, basically, at, at an airport, um, will help you get your stuff published. And in fact, they get it written. You've got to pay a fee, obviously, so and they'll publish it for you. There's quite a few so of those sites out there um, um, that exist. Site, so, um, well, are in, in the general scheme of things, publishing nightmares, I would just go side. down the road um, and, and, and pay for it, yes, which it, you know, you really pass that, pass that cost on to the client. Also interesting was um, that, um, if, if, if they wanted, uh, when then the, they're going to have uh, to pay for it. Um, so, there's some of the editors out. Um, I'll get it in uh, there, uh, ask uh, them to get involved, uh, collaborate. It's get really You'll get a feel for them very quickly. Um, but anyway, if we're, they we're are going to allow it or not. Was, um, uh, if they're not, um, forget it. The just, traffic, um, just go and pay the, way, um, the, the wiki uh, editor um, to do it for you. On the mobile side, almost immediately. And yeah, I, I wonder I think whether that, the state of that might be very well. Um, people travelling by air All are right. um, likely to be Let using uh, that. Oh, I've done that. a, a mobile when with the next. Checking, uh, um, uh, this one from, well, Alan Blue, Blue Ice is posting. Or or not. Um, wow. So that, that um, might um, be it. But uh, anyway, the, the mobile, mobile site uh, rapidly uh, had a very good process. And said the actual post of this is my website in traffic. I'm uh, posting it here um, in the group because I'm not connected with everybody in the group. But when the, the um, that we all mobile site was shut down, of course that traffic um, just went said, up. He uh, said, "Here's a scenario: a desktop site with um, 500k uh, inbound um, links from 3,500 domains. Uh, um, a mobile site um, with not inbound lost links about and not domains traffic. Straight the away, mobile index goes live. So, um, um, will the uh, all mobile site tank?" Is or job, will it good do job. just fine? Anyway, that will do us, I think, on, on this. Uh, if the mobile we'll site uh, does have just one fine, more, then how is it that one more piece to that, mobile index? Uh, yeah, sure. And, and what else say, is not know, properly migrated? You're looking, could you were talking about the uh, algorithmic the difference in versus. traffic from you know mobile versus the desktop. Uh, I would also go back in, in your analytics and take a look at what traffic's coming in. Most of it's probably going to be coming from your desktop, but you can start to dig down a lot into so your phone types. Read it through that and that are actually coming getting to your website and what you're doing. doing. So just like you have a, a flow model with an analytics, you I mean, can start to see when, when you add the links into that, uh, a visual model of where they, they went in a website on mobile. mobile to see where the bounces are. Are they getting you got your mobile, you've got your desktop, to the content, or are, you are they leaving it's all immediately, or are they going and consuming um, content just like they do what a lot of people desktop. Desktop. need to go back to? Is if what you have a, a discussions were happening way back with mobile, and more responsive design work. 
but it's at the same mobile. time, there's a lot of information on the design of our website speed. for mobile security. Or we have a mobile um, specific you know, you know, URL. Uh, user experience subdomain, but then go back and test so it. See when you start, start to mobile lot experience aspects like and going play, back to that visitor experience, are they going you know, through your process? Are they, they going to buy something from you and, or not just uh, and converting out? But website, it's like more of a discussion of versus like just a desktop or mobile. mobile. You know, uh, supplement and you can see that, but just a simple mobile aspect to this would be. You know, how, take a look at your site yeah, on mobile, look um, at the tools um, that Google's given then, us, um, William, and, and let's, then um, also kind of make that determination of, okay, if, uh, did I am I going to climb or am I going to fall on each one of those no, indexes? I, and then, like, yeah. I don't know. I think, you know, you've right. got to separate um, both uh, the desktop we've already seen, Kate. We don't have to worry about other than the monitor size. Uh, with, uh, uh, with the mobile, you have a lot more at play. Key, and this that, that comes right back into you know, screen size. Some of the screens are itty bitty. Some of them are like uh, a big old book. Okay, said, okay, people, so depending um, on how responsive your site is, not giving accurate data. Uh, even when probably we play, the play in how, you in the room how your site's favored in that algorithm. Once it's completely separated. Blog post that my friend Mel shared with me. A while We've seen a lot of that already going on. Um, even there's a link which can be seen on the SEO questions community on Google Plus. Um, to search search engine land dot yeah. com slash get old key Google keyword planner. Any other comments? Uh, actually, we can't see all of it, but hopefully, yeah, you'll be able to go. I to think I just well, now, going SEO back to the whole thing. I mean, I said a whole lot of stuff at once, but I think that. going back to the whole user experience. Yeah, yeah, that, 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 to this mobile. Yeah, go on, Tim. Yeah, um, mm. uh, I. Uh, it's um, it's not accurate at all. Put, even uh, 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 even uh, the old one, uh, I would say, was, it was, was not accurate. Um, um, you know, if you on, on if you Facebook, go and uh, yeah, okay, I, I well, said, I suppose uh, if you look in a keyword um, planner, you we uh, well, um, yeah, I mean, you can you can uh, go and take um, a mobile uh, site, out of your um, search console. Um, and was you can see what your on there. Um, uh, and um, then you can go into Keyword Planner and chuck in the same uh, thing and get two different uh, things. Uh, uh, and then you can go into Analytics and pull out that particular, if that particular phrase um, is in your keywords there, and get another the, totally the different set of info. Um, so you might be like I, getting. Um, uh, 200 minutes a month from that, and Keyword Planner is telling you that there's like less than 20 or like 50, and, and, the and you might be seeing 5,000 impressions. Just all for that. It's, it's laughable. Um, um, but the, the mobile site, um, you know, uh, it's rapidly developed a set of keywords. I would take Keyword Planner as kind the of a base and then the, um, adjust things site, once you've either got a page, exactly you know, that's um, so doing something organically. Um, in either version. But the M dot site developed its uh, or own if unique they have keywords. got something already, um, you know, some data on it already, and, then, um, then, you know, you need also, to sort of. Um, rapidly uh, you know, them up uh, together uh, in, in that um, sense in fact i saw um, a, uh, oh there was a well i i can say that it, i'll it try and dig out an article uh, site which was a week, uh, actually um, um, a, a parking site um for um, where someone a, was i think um, it was something something like um a parking site at, at, at an airport myths, um, or something like this uh, and, uh, where they actually the you know and, go into quite and, quite a lot of detail and then how and they so how they use um, three different bits from keyword planner search site, console um, and well, analytics if it's provided in, in um, to give it would be them a kind of a better you know more um, accurate sort of understanding yes, it, it was but, really um, what it was yeah, also you know, interesting was that um, provides, take uh, when the uh, SSL certificate <laughs> um, expired and, and it went especially away, the number, it, um, it was taken off. Yeah, the numbers yeah, are right. Uh, 
is not as good. And what I normally do is I'll use a, a mixed size. bag of tools. Uh, I'll use a like planner. I'll also go really over upset, to search but console. Um, but and I'll also go to SEM Rush and pull those and then I'll put them into a spreadsheet the traffic, and then start to sort that. But I'm not looking at the numbers. I'm looking at the variations of the words that are being used and kind of looking at what that might the average, if I don't know an industry, I can um, quickly identify a word in the industry are, are by just looking at the source. Uh, funny thing is, I tend to use keyword planning. Uh, uh, something like might be when their cars booked in to, to be picked up, but they need a valet clean or not. Bring them down um, to a more so level that, that headed might be expectation. It. Anyway, the, the, the mobile site rapidly had uh, very good traffic. Then, I think there's, a, um, I think there's another the actual, problem um, here with um, um, increased people who say, oh, um, um, when I when I looked at keyword, but uh, as when the um, here, when I looked at mobile site keyword down, in January, of course that said just went up for three and, months and evaporated. A hundred uh, um, searches, but um, now in July it's five thousand. Um, well. Uh, main yes, side, really bad. Um, it's the other way around, yeah, but you know, the point the is there are all sorts of variations that happen naturally, whether the so, um, whether the figures are correct or yeah, not. All I can say is um, that so is you know you need to look at seasonality. You need to look anyway. At, that yeah. will do us, I think. You, on, on you this, need to accept uh, that, we that the number of one one more, yeah. the number of searches is horizontal. Jim, from January to December, I would probably say. You know, when you're looking because you were ta talking about uh, worry, you know, you know, difference you in worry about from, it, you know, mobile um, versus you know, the desktop. Least worry in the I would also go back into time, your analytics uh, and take a look period. at what traffic is um, coming in. Most of it's yeah, probably it's, coming from your desktop, uh, but you can start think, to dig down deeper into a, the phone types particularly when you get to low that are actually coming you know, to your website and what they're doing. So month, just like you have a visitor flow um, model within analytics, you can start that, to see how, how good uh, I a visual, visual model of where they went on your website uh, on mobile Google and see what they're bouncing on. Are they getting to the content and are they leaving immediately or are they going and consuming the content just like they do on desktop? Desktop. You know, th think Maybe about you have a, a mixed bag you know, of that, be, then you can go uh, back and start the, testing the, the responsive slow down design just because and see what well, maybe technology. we have a responsive you know, design on our website so for mobile, many searches on or we have iPhone a mobile four specific this year, you know, URL, as we are iPhone uh, 6 or 7. Subdomain, but so, then go back and yeah. test it, see what think, that mobile think about experience looks like. Don't going back to that visitor experience, are they going through your process, are they going to buy something from you? Uh, and, and convert think that, that website something that's getting versus just a desktop 5, or mobile. searches is probably and you can see that in your analytics probably quick. a better bet for you than something that's yeah. getting yeah. 150 searches all right so um, don't think don't be like um, five thousand. Let, let's um, move on from this one uh, did i tweet <clears> that <throat> yeah um it's and, and uh, that was like yeah. Perhaps a little bit better than your Wellington right. bit. Um, bit uh, now, Aaron now McKay, you, uh, did you? Uh, David oh, might oh, be that is, more people uh, searched for Halloween uh, in October, early November. Key, uh, and this and question is titled other, Keyword uh, Planner is not giving accurate yeah, data. Yeah, I, I was just getting a bit, you know, a bit Australian. Uh, Aaron McKay now. said, OK, yeah, people, the, uh, um, Google's the Keyword Planner is not giving accurate data. Yeah, and when we place the phrase in the room, we, we don't use Wellington as here in Australia because we, we have the rain set up so that my friend it only rains at night, so we have a tinkle on the roof. Um, there is a link which bother can be seen on the SEO questions or community on Google+. Google Plus. Uh, um, so, so, so posh people like you don't, don't have free wellies? Slash get old. No, I don't have a pair of wellies. Google keyword planner. <laughs> uh, actually, we can't see all of it, but hopefully, yeah, you'll be able to go to uh, the SEO questions <coughs> yeah. on Google Plus um, and click that link. Well, I just like to point out that this very uh, 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 great move it was moving yeah, out on, to uh, Facebook. Yeah, um, um, is a question. Uh, it's it's asked not by, accurate uh, at all. Even Aaron McKay, even the old one, I would say, um, it was, was not by accurate. Bill um, um, if you don't know Bill Slosky, he is. You know, um, if you. Um, if you go and, uh, okay, well, I'm supposed to be looking at keyword planner. You, than keyword research well, for most clients. yeah, I mean, um, you could you can go and take and, uh, um, out of your also, search console. Uh, 
right? And uh, expert, you can uh, see what you As he says, he doesn't have oh. any qualifications, but he's fascinated by uh, and, uh, <laughs> on that. Uh, and, monitors uh, them exhaustively. Uh, and then you can go to Q and Planner and chuck in the same uh, thing and get two different end, things. Uh, um, uh, and then you can go to analytics are, um, and pull out that particular if that particular phrase more. is in your keywords um, there and so, well, get another totally different set to of info so we, uh, you might be like getting started off uh, doing um, 200 visits a month from that um, and keyword plan um, is telling you and, that um, um it, there's like less than 20 started, or like 50 it, um, uh, and you might be seeing 5,000 impressions and, uh, and just off that. Big, um, on one of it, it's, it's laughable um, um never ever thought you know uh, come to this um i would take you a planner as kind of a base minds, and then um, adjust and things once well. you've either got a page you know that's um doing something organically um all right um let's um uh, i think i've tweeted that uh, um, or if try. they have got something sure. already you know some data on it already no, then then oh, you know you need to sort of part about getting on patch um, them up I together in, in that sense in fact i saw um this one was solved um oh, there was via a, twitter john Mueller re responded to my i'll try and dig out the article i think um, week, actually so uh, and like a um um, oh well, I'll, I'll where read someone it was, anyway, I think it was something, something, something like it. Um, um, is it a hate or something like this, uh, where they actually, you know, go into quite, quite a lot of detail and then how they Latin American Spanish, how they use I'm the three different bits from Keyword Planner, Search Console, and Analytics if it's provided to give them a kind of better, you know, more accurate understanding. Yeah. But um, and my yeah, dad, you know, um, was Google provides to one to solve um, <laughs> um, 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 with the especially the number of work work back with. Yeah, the numbers yeah, are right. Any, any more, what, what I normally do is I'll use a, a mixed bag of tools. I'll use Keyword Planner. I'll also go over to Search Console, right, and I'll also go to SEM Rush and pull those, and then I'll put them into a uh, spreadsheet. And then start to sort that, well, but I'm not looking at the numbers. I'm looking at the all of the questions asked on the SEA questions that community are being Google used Plus. in kind of you know, and, uh, what also average. Asked on I don't know an industry. I can quickly Facebook identify and learn the industry SEA by just looking at their keyword sources. Um, and also, funny thing on, is, is, I tend to use keyword planning Twitter, uh, dumb SEO QS. Clients. We now move on to our to news roundup. Um, I think our news is comprised of one um, and then, item this week. Feel, feel, feel I think there's another your problem to, uh, here with um, um, people the, who say, uh, "Oh, um, when I when I looked at keyword uh, community uh, as on Google Plus, be doing here. When I looked uh, at and we will, keyword um, planner in January, look at it and give our stamp of approval or otherwise." Uh, searches, but um, now in July it's five thousand. This one I, well, I stumbled across the really day. It was uh, the other way round. But you know, uh, the point is there are all um, sorts of variations that happen naturally. Um, whether the figures are correct it's or not. Out for the first um, time that mobile so, and you know, tablet you need to look at seasonality. You need to look at you know, of uh, internet you, usage you need to accept worldwide the, the, the number um, the graph October, the number of searches is horizontal by desktop from January now, to December. Have um, to it's a bit misleading. You know, um the, the worry, data is you know, skewed if you are gonna because, worry about um, it um, um at least worry in the, the, the um, so usage in India time, uh, um is about eighty five percent mobile. But, yeah, it is, and uh, it could be I think, that uh, I think in, you've got a in particularly when where, you get to low um, numbers, you know, a um, hundred searches per month is, or is not high. five. Um, <laughs> that, um, <laughs> how how good or accurate is that likely to be? Uh, without uh, Google um, putting whatever um, obfuscation um, it's putting uh, on the, on the to an figures this month. Uh, um, so um, yeah, desktop, look look uh, at. Um, you know, th yeah, think about trends. Likely to be the, you know, the phone is more likely to be that, uh, that, that, that something's gone down just because 
it's all but, technology. I mean, certainly the trends you know, are there. Getting and so, then, many, so um, many searches on if, if iPhone 4 this, article, this year, year as we are the iPhone 6 and 7. On Google Plus. So, you know, um, think, think about the numbers. Don't just look at them as, as numbers. Put them into context. Um, and, and think that something that's getting 5,000 searches is probably, and, and is a good fit, is probably a better bet for you than something that's getting 150 searches. But don't, don't rely on 5,000, 150 being, being accurate. <clears throat> yeah, um, and uh, perhaps a little bit better than your Wellington boot, boot analogy, uh, uh, David might be that more people search for Halloween uh, October, early November than the, any other month uh, of the year. Yeah, I, I was just getting a bit, you know, a bit Australian out there with, with my uh, months for the Green Wellingtons. <laughs> yeah, we've seen, we, we don't use Wellingtons here in Australia because we, we have the rain set up so that it only rains at night so that we hear the tinkle on the roof and it doesn't bother us during the daytime we can still move the grass uh, so so posh people like you don't don't have green wellies no i don't have a pair of wellies no <laughs> <laughs> yeah um I'd just like to point out that this question, I mean, what a great move it was moving over to uh, Facebook. Um, here's a question uh, asked by uh, the inimitable Erin Mackay, um, answered by Bill Slorsky. Um, if you don't know Bill Slorsky, he is, um, um, as he says in his own words, I mostly do client audits rather than keyword research for most clients like Alan. Um, and um, he also uh, is something of a patent uh, expert. Uh, he, he, as he said, he doesn't have any qualifications, but he's fascinated by patents and uh, uh, monitors them exhaustively. And of course, Alan Blue Ice uh, is a high end uh, um, website auditor, um, mainly deals in larger sites, million pages and more. Um, so um, I, I just have to say that uh, when we um, started off uh, doing um, um, dumb SEO questions um, and um, it, of course dumb SEO questions started because of a, um, an absolutely random conversation between myself and uh, Dan Petrovic um, on one of his hangouts. Um, Never ever thought that it would ever uh, come to this um, a meeting of all these fine and brilliant minds um, and Tim Capper as well. <laughs> all right, um, let's, um, uh, I think I've tweeted that. Um, let me try it just to be sure. No, I haven't. Oh God, the worst part about getting old. Um, pay, attention, um, pay attention, Jim. Yeah. This one was solved um, via Twitter. John Mueller re responded to Micah on Twitter. Um, so, and Micah, um, um, oh, well, I'll, I'll read it out anyway. And if anyone wants to add anything to it, um, he said, a hate Lang question. Micah Fisher Kirshner asked, uh, is ES-419 a valid code to use for Latin American Spanish? I'm unaware of this being valid, but thought to check here. W3 schools uh, knows is as valid for them. I have just never seen anyone talk about it before. Uh, and Micah um, was re responded to on Twitter um, um, with the right information. Any, anyone want to add anything to that before we move on? All right, let's move on.
Well, we've done it again, guys. We've answered all of the questions asked on the SEA questions community on Google Plus, and uh, the, also asked on our page on Facebook, uh, Dumb SEA Questions, um, and also on um, Twitter, uh, Dumb SEA QS. We now move on to our news roundup. Um, I think our news is comprised of one um, item this week. Feel free to add your items to uh, um, the um, SEO news uh, community on Google Plus, uh, and we will um, look at it and give our stamp of approval or otherwise. Um, and this one I, I stumbled across today, it was uh, posted today by uh, um, Octos Digital Marketing. Um, and it pointed out for the first time that mobile and tablet devices accounted for 51.3 of uh, internet usage worldwide um, in October compared to 48.7% by desktop. Now, have to point out this is a bit misleading um th th that data is skewed because um um the th the um usage in india um is about 85 percent mobile and it could be that uh, in uh, in in countries where um um the gdp is is not high um that um a $200 uh, um, phone uh, compared to an $800 uh, um, desktop um, um, you know, is more likely to be the, the, the phone is more likely to be the, the means of accessing the internet. But I mean, certainly the trends are there. And, and um, if, if you access this article, which can be clicked on from the SEO news community on Google Plus, um, 